Hey everyone, I'm Jocelyn Maldonado from El Tri Online, and joined alongside me is El Super Mojado y Hugo Bernal. As always, thank you guys for taking your time to join me, hablando de fútbol, del tri, pero hoy también vamos a analizar nuestra industria de medios de comunicación. Luca Romero, the Mexican Messi as media outlets refer to him as, is trending across all football media platforms. Y todavía ni ha ganado campeonatos ni ha jugado con los grandes. Así que, what do you guys think? Is it the media's fault for hyping up these players without them ever proving yet what they can do on the pitch? Hugo, ¿tú qué piensas? Of course, media have to have to do this. Imagine, it's been two and a half months without soccer, so uh, we have to bring out the topics and and believe that he's going to explode with all this talent and everything. We all know that we're probably going to forget about this guy. All the respect. I don't even know him, but who knows? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he does great. But the media, they're always going to do that. I think the Mexican teams or the Mexican uh, uh, players, they have the toughest because we have the Mexican media in Mexico and they have the, the media in the U.S. speaking Spanish. So it's two audiences. That's why all the time in the, in the World Cups, you have two countries, really, uh, criticizing every little detail of what the Mexican players do. It's the media's fault, yes and no, because also they're the richest ones. They are the ones who pay, put the dollars in it. So it's okay. I, I, we can we can get all these fun stories, and uh, we all forget about them eventually. Well, I'm going to have to, yes, I'm going to have to uh, agree with Hugo. There has been so many me Mexican Messi's, man. How, this is what, like a hundred, a hundred Mexican Messi. <laughs> we have I'm to write a note about you, stupid. Well, like Chompy Lopez, you know, that was a Mexican Messi. I was a Mexican Messi, you know, but yeah, you know, after Los Tacos, forget it. I, 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 you know, I'm the Mexican Maradona now. <laughs> so, you, so you're saying that Chompy Lopez doesn't have any talent? What is this? He's a true hey, man. I'm still, I'm still waiting for a player that really, you know, shows that they have that they have talent and then they can be consistent so so uh the career shows that, you know, because they just like stress fugaces. They come and go, come and go. Let's just not talk about uh Raul Jimenez because he comes from America. Let's not talk about Andres Guardado because he's from Atlas. Of course we're not gonna talk about him, right? <laughs> Implados, implados, todos. Super, come on. Support him for once. <laughs> I remember they said the same thing about like Chucky Lozano after watching the World Cup against Germany. So I agree with you guys. The media has to do these things to hype up these players. But Did you guys, he, he, he got a picture. He got a picture with a trophy. Even though he didn't play, but he got <laughs> una foto para el Facebook. Ahí está. <laughs> Ahí está. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you guys for your time. Of course, it's always appreciated, but that's all the time we have for today. For the viewers, please don't forget to follow all our social medias at El Tri Online, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, our ETO podcast is every Monday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I've been Jocelyn Maldonado with El Tri Online. Thank you guys for tuning in.